A remorseless killer launched a vile rant at a judge as he was jailed for life over the street execution of a young dad. Reuben Murphy, who's 26, called the High Court judge a fat pedo and screamed, fuck the system, as he was led down to the cells at Liverpool Crown Court today. Murphy of Highton was convicted of murder after shooting into the chest of a 26-year-old who went by the name of Patrick Boyle. May he rest in peace. Mr Boyle, living in Kirkdale at the time, was the dad of a three-year-old boy and was expecting a second child with his pregnant partner. He was standing outside an address in Highton at around 6pm when Murphy approached on an electric bike and opened fire. Two rounds hit him on the left side of the chest and he was pronounced dead at Whiston Hospital less than 30 minutes later. Murphy denied he was in the street at the time, claiming he was off his head on ketamine and cannabis in the garden of another area of Highton. But he was faced with an overwhelming evidence, including a pair of black gloves, bearing traces of gunshot residue and his DNA profile which were found on top of a kitchen cupboard in his own. CCTV evidence also put him in the area of the shooting at the time. Murphy was convicted of murder after a trial at Liverpool Crown Court alongside his close friend Ben Doyle who rode back the electric bike carrying Murphy on the back to within minutes of the murder scene. Another friend of 21-year-old Thomas Walker was cleared of murder but admitted handling one of the bullets used to kill Mr Boyle on a date prior to the day of the shooting. Today all three men face sentencing before Mr Justice Stephen Morris. He said this was a shocking premeditating attack in broad daylight on the streets of Liverpool. For neighbours in the area at the time it must have been a very terrifying experience. Judge Morris outlined the facts of the case before telling the drug dealer this was a brazen and shocking attack leading to the senseless death of a young man. At no stage have you shown remorse for what you have done nor for the enduring misery that you have caused to others. Murphy was asked to stand and told he will serve a minimum term of 31 years in prison before he'll be eligible for parole. As the sentence was read out he began shouting and ranting. He said he had been expecting a longer sentence before telling the judge, thanks very much you fat pedo. Murphy also screamed fuck the system and said he was always smiling as he was escorted out of the dock. Murphy also shouted from the dock, gang 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 of fucking rats while staring at Mr Boyle's family. After the defendants were taken to the cell, Judge Morris thanks the victim's relatives for their dignity and told them, I know it is designed to get a reaction from you. Doyle was jailed for life with a minimum term of 27 years whilst Walker was handed two years behind bars. During the hearing Mr Boyle's partner read a harrowing victim impact statement to the court. She said, I was nine weeks pregnant when Paddy was killed by these evil people. We were both so excited to be a little family and were excited for our first scan so we could tell our families our happy news. All this didn't happen because of the two defendants. He never got to go to our first scan or got to find out what we were having or be at the birth. They have robbed our son of ever meeting his amazing daddy. Us both of our future as a family and memories, no photographs to show him when he's older of us as a family. I didn't just lose my boyfriend, but my best friend too and my soulmate Paddy was my safe place and biggest adventure. He was taken far too soon. So just want to say rest in peace Patrick Boyle once again and my condolences go out to your family. Ken Grant, the prosecutor, also read a statement on behalf of Mr Boyle's dad, who said, When the trial finished, I commented that although I had seen justice done, my son is still in the ground and all for nothing. The court heard that the catalyst for the killing appeared to be a petty row in the streets between Murphy and a friend of Mr Boyle's called Fraser Brown. During his trial, Murphy told the jury Mr Brown owed him money for cannabis and had taken the piss when Murphy was jailed for possessing a firearm and bullets back in 2015. That spat appears to have led to the plot to target and kill Mr Boyle and saw Doyle obtain an electric bike with black bin bags wrapped around the frame as a crude disguise. In the hours before the shooting, CCTV captured Murphy making a number of journeys between Lime Grove, Pennard Avenue and Barkbeth Road during which the court heard he picked up a semi-automatic gun and ammunition. Mr Boyle's mum, dad, sister and partner each said they believed they wouldn't get any answers as to why such a seemingly minor dispute led to the loved one being executed in cold blood. Speaking after the hearing, Chief Inspector Steve McGrath of Merseyside Police said this was a cold and calculated attack which resulted in the murder of a dad of two on a street in broad daylight. Reuben Murphy and Ben Doyle continued to deny their involvement in Patrick Boyle's death, forcing his family and friends to endure a criminal trial played out in public. They will now spend a considerable amount of time behind bars 
for their actions. This case shows all too well the grim reality of arming yourself with a gun and I hope that it acts as a deterrent for others thinking of doing this. Not only have the actions of Murphy and Doyle on that night resulted in the untimely death of a young man but it has had a massive impact on the victim's children, family and friends as well as their own family and friends. Gun crime is never acceptable and Merseyside Police will continue to do everything in its powers to find the people carrying and using firearms and bringing them to justice. As we stated, the actual incident which was referred to in court was about a debt that was owed back in 2015 when Reuben Murphy was sent to prison. So what happened in 2015 so he was pals with my Freeman and Colbert police were watching Murphy and Freeman cycling around in Heysen. Murphy he was wearing a distinctive grey North Face jacket and had his face covered with a scarf so he couldn't be recognised boldly approached an undercover officer who was sitting in a car near the teen's home. Murphy asked the officer, are you following me? And when questioned what he meant, he replied, you're a busy. Ian Freeman cycled away, but just 20 minutes later, police raided Murphy's house. There, in his kitchen, they found a jacket he had been wearing with a loaded gun in its pocket. The magazine attached to the semi-automatic pistol had nine live rounds inside, with a tenth inside the gun's chamber. Murphy was arrested at the scene while Freeman, who tried to run from the house, was caught nearby. Murphy stood trial in January 2016. He admitted possessing the gun and ammunition but denied the more serious offences of possessing them with intent to endanger life. Jurors cleared Murphy of the more serious charges, prompting him to jump up and down the dock. He shouted, that's all I need to hear, while members of the family screamed yes in the public gallery. He was jailed for five years. With regards to Freeman, May the 17th last year, he targeted another man who goes by the name of Alan Roberts at the Old Bank pub in Liverpool. CCTV footage showed Freeman approaching the pub on an electric bike with his hood up and wearing a mask and gloves. His botched attack then unfolded when quick-thinking Rob darted into the pub and hid behind the door. As Freeman came in after him, Roberts pounced and the two men wrestled over the weapon in a doorway when he went off with the two bullet fragments striking Roberts in the groin. But Roberts took control of the firearm as he and other drinkers kicked and stamped on Freeman. While the gunman now lying defenceless on the floor, Roberts racked the gun to eject a misfiring cartridge. CCTV showed he then turned and shot his foe twice in the chest. Freeman admitted wounding with intent and possessing a firearm with intent to endanger life ahead of a trial early this year when Roberts was convicted of the same charges. He jailed Freeman for 14 and a half years with an extended four years on licence as a dangerous offender. So guys, this is a story coming from Liverpool where two men have been jailed for a long time for the murder of Patrick Boyle. It's your boy GC. Keep it locked, keep it real.